Hello everyone, welcome back to Video Vloggers channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to create this dynamic subtitle text open effect. If you are interested in this one, keep watching the video. First, let's open Video Vlogger and find titles in the upper left corner. Choose a suitable title and drag it into the subtitle track. Click this button to enter add text. First, enter the text you want in the input box and choose a suitable font. Next, find text color. Click here to change your font color to white. Find text border below. Uncheck it. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Then, we click this button to take a screenshot of the screen. After that, the system will automatically pop up a folder. Import a picture into Video Vlogger. Then click here again to enter Add Text. This time, let's change the text color to black. Check text border and change the color to white. And adjust the size to about 5. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Again, click here to take a screenshot of the screen and import a picture into Video Vlogger. Next, delete the material from the subtitle track on the timeline. Then drag the Hello Out text image onto the overlay track and fit it to the screen. Use Ripple Edit to change the duration of the material to about 3 seconds. Next, find Blur Mode and change it to Lighter. Then click here to enter the motion editor. Mark the first keyframe at the far left of the timeline and fit the box to a screen. Then drag the box down and pay attention to the preview window on the right. We need to let the text be at the top of the screen. Then drag the playhead to around 2 seconds. Mark the second keyframe and let the box return to its normal position. Change speed to speed down. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Next, let's find Fade and Move. Check Fade In and adjust the duration to about 0.5 second. Check Fade Out and adjust the duration to about 1 second. Next, right-click on the text ledger, choose Copy, and select the Paste in the same track. Then drag the new material back a few frames to create a delay between the two segments. Copy 7 to 9 identical segments in this way. And you will get such a screen. Next, create a new overlay track. And import a text ledger into the new track. After fading to the screen, find Compositing and change Blend Mode to Screen. Then in Fade and Move, check Fade In and drag the position of the material on the timeline so that it coordinates with the previous screen. Then we get such a screen. After using Ripple Edit to trim the material to the appropriate length, we start making the following screen. Drag the playhead to the back of the timeline. Then click this to create a new text material. After that, we need to create an individual image for each letter. To better create, we can drag out guidelines to find the center of the screen. Then enter the letter in the text box and adjust the font. Remove text shadow. Then adjust the size and position of the text in the preview window, like this. Then click here to take a screenshot of the screen. Make all the text image this way. Import them all back into Video Vlogger and delete the text material on the timeline. Click the upper left corner to select the settings interface. Find timeline and adjust the photo duration to 0.6 seconds. Then place all the subtitles in the overlay track in order. After that, we import a pure black image and place it on the text overlay track. In the inspector on the right, check fading and out. Drag the black screen material between two letters. 
Then use copy and paste. Paste it on the other letters. After finishing, let's export the segment of the video. Create a new project. Import the video we just made into Video Vlogger and place it on the video track. Enter Motion Editor. We can add a zoom out movement to the video like this. After returning to the main interface, find Old TV2 in Effects and add it to the track. Finally, add a logo at the end. This way, the dynamic text opening effect is complete. That's it for today's video. If you want to know more about other tricks or what has been going on with Video Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to your subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.